15 laps of racing action coming away for the JB Logging and Fire with four cylinders. We're on the right with Evan Wright. <coughs> Down in the turn number one is your leader. Will he hold on to the lead? Off for turn two. Yes, he will, but look at Quinn Wallace trying to make a move. Now the Becklers are at it again as they're trying to work their way up through the field as they come off uh, of turn number four. Down the front straightaway, it's Quinn Wallace taking the lead. Here they come down the front straightaway. Quinn Wallace slipped a little bit, and here comes Dakota. On the inside, whoa, Quinn Wallace out of shape. Behind the lap car, and Dakota jumped on it. Dakota looking for a sweep here. As he won last night over at the uh, D-shaped Dirt Demon, Dakota Beckler on the inside. Off the turn they come. It's going to be a drag race to the checkered flag. Here they come. Going to be Dakota Beckler. Quinn Wallace second. Quinn, Quinn Wallace. Yeah, that was, that was a lot of fun. That was probably the most fun I've had racing here in a while. So, yeah, it was a good race. Clean. I don't think we made contact at all the whole time. We were right side by side. I, he definitely would have got me if it wasn't for the lap car. I don't think I would have got by him, but it was good racing. Thirteen strong. Green flag is out. We're underway with the late models here on McDonald's night at the Speedway. And the one. The Enchanted Forest Water Country Safari, number 81 of Bretzky. Brett Belden leading the way as they bring it off a of turn number four. Off that turn four, Brett Belden will lead the opening lap here in this one. Steve Quite in the two spot. Look at the old show, Jason O'Kino. Traps to go. Belden leads it. Parkhurst drives it in deep into turn three. Can he make it stick off of four? No, he can't. Belden leads it, but Parkhurst is right there. Parkhurst has got the momentum. He's got the run. He's got the line off of two. Parkhurst has the edge on Belden. Lap number 15 coming up. Five laps to go. And slider off of four. New leader, Jason Parkhurst. 15 laps up on the big board. In the terms three and four for the final time. The rocket chassis of Jason Parkhurst parks it in victory lane. Second goes to Brett Belden. Jason Parkhurst, driver of the 38. Yeah, we normally run yellow free here, and the, the track is really, really slick tonight. A little bit rough, but pretty nice. Um, yeah, even starting in the back right now, we don't have that many cars, so coming from eighth, that's not as good as coming from up front, but whatever, I'll take it. Ready to roll over the valley here in on Fulton, New York. Green flag is out. Let's go racing. Tracy running big block. Not a three. It's a green here on McDonald's right here at the Speedway. They're side by side. Look at this four wide battle. Tim Sears Jr. just body slam the 98 inch of Jimmy Phelps off of turn two. Jimmy tried to pay him back but couldn't reach. Meanwhile, off of turn four, it's going to be Cody Graham leading lap number one. Wow, it's a 21. Could be either one, Adam. As it's a 12, 221. Meanwhile, Mike Bowman, he's going to the outside. Chad Phelps trying to make a move down the back straightaway. Oh, he sets his sights on Ryan Jordan. Jordan and a 21 working the high side of the speedway. But here comes Bowman. Wow, a good find new leader down the back stretch. The 16 of Mike Bowman. Continues to be Bowman. Traffic in front. Jordan making that gasp. Last gasp up to the outside. But Bowman's going to win it. Ryan Jordan comes home second. Chris Heil is third. Ladies and gentlemen, your feature winner, Mike Bowman. Oh, it's taking some time, that's for sure. Um, we've been gaining on it slowly. We started pretty slow this year, and uh, about four weeks ago, we changed the car all upside down and, and got a different shock package and just went the opposite direction, and we've been gaining. We just Every night seems like the first 25 laps, we're one of the fastest cars, and the last eight laps, kind of like last night, we fade, and we've worked all day to figure out how we could be fast the last 10, and we weren't super fast, but we were just fast enough tonight, I guess. Fulton Speedway, Stoutinger, Hatherall, set the pace. Here we go. 
Green flag is out. First of two sportsman features tonight on McDonald's night here at the Speedway. And it's going to be Ryan Hallerill to the lead off of turn number two. Down the back stretch they run into turns three and four. And it'll be Mackey trying to make a move on Stoutinger on the high side of the speedway. Side by side for the two spot. Ryan Hallerill leads lap number one. Well, Mackey works to the outside as he goes down into turn number one. The pass and he'll try it again into turn number three. Hallerill way up the racetrack and he just all about handed the lead to Chris Mackey who will lead lap number three. Lap three. Oh, Whoa, Jessica, Jessica Power, Power in trouble on the restart. She's got a broken front end and can't control the race car because she lost steering. Tori Stoutinger goes for a path. Trouble off of turn two. It's going to be Brute with a power move off the top side of the racetrack. He leads it on lap number 14. Yeah, he drove it to the top side and fired it past the three of Mackey. He will officially lead lap number 14 as Marshall just got pushed up the racetrack by Hargraves. He lost two spots as Root gets the win. Mackey second, Barker third, Phelps fourth. The winner of our first 25 lap here at McDonald's night, and that's Todd Root. Well, it's been a uh, long 10 days. Yeah, we've, uh, we've been all over this race car for the last seven days and just can't seem to get it going. And Believe it or not, we finally took a sawzall to the frame after the heat race and it worked. Nice to know. Hey, tune my guitar. Here we go, green is out. Nate Higgins would like to tune the field. He'll get an opportunity starting on the pole. Trying to string it together, as they say. Off the turn. <laughs> one note at a time, Bill. All, one note at a time. All tuned up. Either way, Spano's in trouble in the back straightaway. Jimmy Spano pulls the one JVS off the racetrack. Here they come, Higgins leads lap number one. So Higgins leads the opening lap. Jeremy Diger had a new body on a whole new race car. Oh, baby, hang on. Back out of there, Mike Stanton. He did. Woo! The driver out of Baldwinsville, New York, and light front glass, AV electrical, Bowman Auto Repair, Contempo Tile, number 22, new feature winner, Nate Higgins. Second will go to Diger. Third will go to Kraus. Oh, my, this was great. Uh, I never thought I'd be here tonight. Um, right out of the gate, I mean, the car was just glued and uh, as the race went on the car was getting better and better and better uh, it's a great feeling FRC 5418 a black Saturn FRC 5418 the green is out we're on the way down in at turn number one Dwyer will lead the field there off of turn two down the back stretch, they will run in the turns three and four for the first time. It'll be Dwyer leading lap number one. Davis is a half a lap to Pater. Here he comes off the fourth turn down the front straightaway. The snake's venom poisons the field as he crosses the line. Well, we kind of changed the shocks around and we changed, well, actually what had happened earlier and progressively in the year with the pushing is with the brake bias, we had, we were going the wrong direction with it. There's a sticker on it, it's going right for, to the rear and then left to the front. So if we turned to the rear, it was going to the, to the front. If we went to the left, we were going to the rear. So if we found that out and it seemed to progress a little bit better and we started, did a little different with the tires and Kind of switch it all up. Fifteen laps and we can go home. You can too. Green flag is out. Or you can go to RFH's, the official post race stop of the Fulton Speedway. True. Are you going? I don't think so tonight. Oh, come on. Mike's going. I know. Off of two, down the back straightaway. Rude leads the way. Back is right there a second time. Juno sticks a nose underneath it. Whoa, off the turn they come, down the front straight, lap one into the books. It's Kyle Rude leading the way. Oh, at the line it is Juno by a front bumper when Becker puts the foot to the floorboard off of two. Did Becker won yet? I don't think so, has he? No. Unless he won last week, but. Couple of the racers coming together. Kira Backus just drove Rachel Zacharias from turn one all the way up to the wall in turn number two, but they both stay green. 
So Rachel is sitting back there in the five spot. Kiera back and forth. Billy Sarve fifth. Well, up front, we got a battle for the lead. Becker leads it off of two. Down the back straightaway. Matt Becker with the lead. And bigger, and they're getting better and better. Side by side, off of four. Here they come. Matt Becker's going to win this thing. Juno second, Pettit third. Well, I figured I wasn't going to get him on the bottom, so I figured I tried to top, and I guess it stuck long enough to get it to happen, so.